Hey, it's April with The Possible Diet, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make chocolate meringues. Um, meringues are one of those things that a lot of keto people are fans of because they're basically egg white cookies that you bake in a low oven. Um, I like these. Um, they're reduced carb because I'm using Smart Sugar, which has 50% um, less sugar with no artificial sweeteners. Um, I like using real sugar in baking when I can, um, but Smart Sugar is my go-to because it's you know less sugar and there's no artificial sweeteners. Um, so these are reduced carb. You can try making them with erythritol, but the tricky thing with um, sugar-free sugar alternatives is um, they don't perform the same way when heat is applied. Um, so you, you might not get the same results, but uh, to do this, you need half a cup of egg whites, which is roughly four egg whites from four large eggs, um, and cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is what helps those peaks get, you know, stiff. Um, it's kind of like a, a kind of like a leavener. It helps keep them fluffy and stable from, from what I've gathered. So you're going to beat these until soft peaks form, and then you're going to add a half a cup of your smart sugar. So that's what a soft peak looks like. Um, it's kind of fluffy, like marshmallow fluff. It's not quite stiff like frosting. Um, you wanna go ahead and add your sugar in. Once those get really glossy, um, the mixture will definitely smell like marshmallow fluff. Um, you wanna go ahead and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Whoops, a little extra. And once the mixture kind of like stays where it is when you tip the bowl, then it's ready. You can tell because it get it's kind of glossy and sticky, and the sugar feels like it's dissolved. Um, and scrape the sides. And then we're going to add um, two tablespoons of cocoa. The cocoa that I'm using today is um, Coco Rouge. Um, it's guitared, it's very fine, it's um, unsweetened. Uh, it's just regular cocoa. And you wanna sift this over it so that you get any clumps out. So two tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder. Fold that in. You want to fold it in with a spatula, not a beater. Um, if you don't know how to fold things, just Google Schitt's Creek folding. Find yourself a video. Okay. And now the original recipe for this uh, calls for a cup of chocolate chips, but I actually changed this up a little bit. Um, I'm going to add a third cup of cacao nibs. Um, I found these at grocery outlet for like half the price that they normally cost. And it's so rare that I get a chance to cook with them because I don't bake that much anymore since I went low carb that I really wanted to try them in this. Um, and then I have 
So a third a cup of cacao um, nibs, and then a third cup of grated chocolate. I just grated, um, I just grated this 85% um, organic chocolate bar on a cheese grater um, to get it really, really fine. Um, so, and then a third cup of chopped walnuts. Just because I like walnuts, but you can do a half a cup and a half a cup, or you can just stick to a cup of chocolate chips. Um, or if you don't have any chocolate in the house, you can use the cacao nibs by themselves, but um, I kind of like that melted chocolate in there. Uh, so that's why I roll like that. So fold that in, and then this is my trick. Dump this mixture into a giant Ziploc bag so that it makes it easy to pipe the cookies onto a baking sheet. I've got my lined baking sheet here and I'm just gonna cut you know a pretty decent sized hole in the bottom of this bag and just pipe little clouds uh, they are gonna look like turds <laughs> don't be alarmed So you want to put these in a 300 degree oven and bake them 25 to 30 minutes just until they're dry on the top. Okay, our cookies are out of the oven. They look exactly the same as they did when we put them in the oven. Um, they don't really spread and they don't really change. They just kind of like dry out. Um, so once these are done, let them cool slightly on um, the cookie sheet, like just like two minutes and then take them off, put them on a wire rack, let them cool completely, and then make sure that you store them um, covered at room temperature. Enjoy.